and Brakti Hawa, Brakatha, Yahweh Shah, Brakti Hawa, Brakatha, Yahweh Shah, Bashan, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth. And in sincerity, this lesson will be entitled According to the Scriptures Life After Death. Lord, will you are edified, my source RT. And this article is entitled, The Mystery of What Happens When We Die Solved. This article was published on the 27th of February, 2022. All praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay. And if the Most High is dealing with you, this information is located inside of the scriptures. I did not read this article. There's no need, all right, via the Holy Spirit and through the teachings of the apostles and elder Akim of Great Millstone, I understand. So there's no need to read Esau's so-called scientific bullshit, okay? Everything we need to know about life death, salvation, and etc. Conduct, okay, is inside of the scriptures, which is a book only for the nation of Israel, and at this time frame, only the elect, okay? According to the scriptures, no one dies. Period. Ecclesiastes 3 and 20 all go unto one place, and this is literal. So once we die, we all go to one place. What is that place? Second Corinthians 12 and 2. Now, this is going into the account after Apostle Paul had been stoned. He died. However, the Most High returned his spirit back inside of his flesh. Why? Because he had to continue to fulfill his obligations as being a prophet. Second Corinthians 12 and 2. I knew a man in Mashiach above 14 years ago, whether in the body I cannot tell, or whether out of the body I cannot tell, the most I know. Such an one caught up to the third heaven. And that's the point. This place is referring to the third heaven or the spiritual world. All are of the dust and all turn to dust again. So once we die, our spirit goes into the third heaven or the spiritual world. And our flesh decompose back into the form of dust. And this is for every man, woman, and child, regardless of your nation. We all came from the dust. Once we die, our spirit goes to the spiritual world. Verse 21. Who know the spirit of man that go upward, upward, meaning into the third heaven or the spiritual world, and the spirit of the beast that go downward to the earth. Second Corinthians five and ten. For we must all, literal, every man, woman, and child, regardless of your nation, 
for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Mashiach. And the judgment seat of Yahweh is located in the third heaven or the spiritual world. That everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he has done, whether it be good or bad. Another key point in Ecclesiastes 3 and 20, all are of the dust and all turn to dust again. All right, going into this account, is regarding how well, let me say it like this Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai punished Adam for following Eve when the serpent which was a man gave Eve a different lifestyle and Eve took that lifestyle to Adam and he accepted it and therefore, Adam received dire consequences, okay? And this is an example of a dire consequence. Genesis 3 and 19, And the sweat of your face shall you eat bread till you return unto the ground, for out of it was you taken for dust you are, and unto dust shall you return. Okay? So we all came from the dust. And once that spirit or our spirit leaves the flesh, the body decomposes and returns, returns back into the dust. Job. 3 and 14. Job 3 and 11. Why died I not from the womb? Why did I not give up the spirit when I came out of the belly? This is the mindset Job was in because he was catching so much hell. Verse 12, why did the knees prevent me or why the breasts that I should suck? For now should I have lain still and been quiet. He's talking about if he came out as a stillborn, all right, he would have died in his spirit would have went back into the spiritual world or the third heaven. For now should I have lain still and been quiet. I should have slept. Then had I been at rest with kings and counselors of the earth which built desolate places for themselves or with princes that had gold who filled their houses with silver or as in hidden untimely birth I had not been as infants, infants which never saw light. There the wicked cease from troubling, and there the weary be at rest. There is referring to the spiritual world, or the third heaven. There the prisoners rest together. They hear not the voice of the oppressor. The small and great are there, and the servant is free from his master. Okay. According to the scriptures, life after death. Exodus 
Exodus 20 and 5, you shall not bow down yourself to them, nor serve them, referring to these other gods, which are idols. For I, the Lord Yahweh, your power, am a jealous power, visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Focal point, visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children unto the third and fourth generation. This means through the process of reincarnation, we come back on earth every third to four, third or fourth generation. Okay. And this is um, Luke 8 and 49. While he yet spake, there come one from the ruler of the synagogue's house, saying to him, Your daughter is dead. Trouble not the master. But when Yahweh heard it, he answered him, saying, Fear not, believe only, and she shall be made whole. Verse 51. And when he came into the house, he suffered no man to go in, save Peter and James and John, and the father and the mother of the maiden. And all wept and bewailed her, but he said, Weep not, she is not dead, but sleep. And they laughed him to scorn, knowing that she was dead. And he put them all out and took her by the hand and called, saying, Maid, arise. And her spirit came again, and she arose straightway, and he commanded to give her meat. All right. The point is that this maid had died, and Yahweh Shah classified this incident as her being only sleep and not dead. According to the scripture or scriptures, life after death, no one dies. Lord will, you are edified. Shalom.